Have you guys ever experienced that feeling you get that you're so frustrated you just want to chainsaw a bitch in half? <laughs> or shoot someone's head clean off? Headshot. I'm guessing you guys know what I mean. Although I wouldn't recommend you guys actually doing something like that because apparently it's against the law. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I blow off steam when I feel like that. <laughs> Yes, this episode is all about Gears of War, one of my favourite games on the Xbox 360 console. It first came out on the 7th of November back in 2006, and since then it's gotten two sequels, one prequel and a ton of DLC, not to mention the announcement of another title in the works for the Xbox One console. It's clear this game has had a lot of success within the gaming world, and I'm going to show you why. The story follows a squad of soldiers commanded by Marcus Phoenix. They are tasked to lead a last-ditch effort to destroy the Locust Horde and save humanity. When you first meet Marcus, he gets busted out of prison by his close friend and squad mate Dominic Santiago. But they don't have much time to tell you how Marcus got there, as you immediately enter a war zone and are forced to rendezvous with Delta Squad, which at this time is commanded by Lieutenant Kim. After escaping prison, the squad gets their orders from Colonel Hoffman, who kind of reminds me of that drill sergeant from the movie Full Metal Jacket. You will not laugh! You will not cry! Anyway, after receiving orders and rendezvousing with Alpha Squad, both squads get ambushed by a huge force, and for the first time, you get to see the main boss of the game called General Ram, as he kills off Lieutenant Kim with a badass blade. Once that's over, you save your new squad from a berserker threat by using the all-powerful Hammer of Dawn. And after that, your true mission will begin, which is to deploy a device that will map the enemy tunnels so that you can target a light mass bomb which will undoubtedly destroy the Locust and win the war. With the theme of Gears being a post-apocalyptic world, full of war zones as humanity is making their last stand against the Locust Horde, it's clear that this game isn't going to be filled with unicorns and rainbows. Most levels are in fact grim and eerie looking, but still spectacular in their own way. Killing enemies off in the most gruesome ways possible, like blasting heads clean off or using your chainsaw to cut your way through them, means this game isn't for the faint of heart either. Ugh, my god, that's horrible. The main characters of the game all have their own distinctive looks, while less important characters all look the same, making it easier to see who is important and who is expendable. As you may have noticed, Gears is classified as a third-person shooter, which means that you are observing your character progress through the story fighting many epic battles on his way. Gears plays differently to most shooters as you need to actively find and use cover to your advantage, sometimes flanking enemies and using actual military tactics. This is a game that you cannot rush, or you will be killed, so patience is necessary. Reloading is also different to normal shooters as you have to make use of the so-called active reload system. While reloading you will see a bar on the upper right corner of your screen and if you hit the right button on your Xbox controller at the right time, you will reload faster, miss your timing, and your gun will jam, leaving you helpless for a while. This technique is extremely important to master, especially on the higher difficulty playthroughs, when you can't be wasting time reloading. When you make it to the end of the game, General Ram will be waiting for you. He's already proven to be a real badass multiple times, killing Lieutenant Kim, and executing prisoners of war, it's clear that this battle isn't going to be easy. From the start, General Ram is protected by his Krill shield, making him immune to gunfire, but occasionally he will send his protective Krill towards you. Use this time to get a couple of headshots in, but be sure that you're standing safely in the light, otherwise the Krill will kill you instantaneously. You can also disrupt the Krill shield by using explosives to fend them off, giving you time to unload your rifle on Ram. 
Ram himself is armed with a special mini gun, so be sure that you stay out of his line of fire, or once again you will quickly meet your end. Keep all of this in mind and you should be alright. Once you've beaten Ram, you'll get a short cutscene of his death and you can proceed to activate the light mass bomb. I really like Gears of War because it's not your average run and gun shooter. You actually need to think every move through and execute your timing precisely. The story in itself is so good that it has its own novel series which goes further into detail as to what's going on and the enemies aren't all simple pushovers. I believe it's safe to rate this game at an awesome 9 on the meter, giving it a must-buy rating. So if you get the chance, pick it up at your local game store and play it, because it's definitely worth your time. Hey guys, thanks again for watching another episode of the Arcade Athletes. I hope I've piqued your interest on another awesome game. You can always click on one of the other boxes to watch a different episode, but be warned, because as for the topic, I've chosen a game which I personally wouldn't recommend on playing, namely Halo ODST. As always, the Facebook link can be found below, and don't forget to check out Mike and Ata's channel and DJ Lowey's SoundCloud. Links for these can also be found down below. This was Phil, signing off. See you next time.